Welcome back to the misadventures of Jason. Today, the new Rop Church Warden and the new unopened tin of Skiff Mixture. So, if I go back through my notes, um, I can tell you real fast when this tin comes from. Skiff Mixture. Okay, this is from December 14th, 2018. So, let's see here. It's got almost two years of age on it. Let's crack this bad boy open and see what we can see. All right, looks like the uh, tobacco is in a ribbon cut. Nice and densely packaged in here. See that? Ooh, so it definitely has some good barbecue notes to it. Yeah. It doesn't look like it has a lot of, lot of key in it. Um, you know, I mean, you can see that it looks, looks to be quite a bit of Virginia's in there, you know, and then a little bit of, uh, Latakia. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of that Virginia note too, but the first overwhelming tin note is definitely the Latakia and that, that smoky barbecue scent. All right. So, All right. so we're going to pull out some of this and... Put it on the tray. Yeah, feels a little moist, but not too bad. Honestly, it feels like it's right at that right moisture content to smoke. So let's go ahead and close up this tin. Inaugural smoke of the Rop Church Warden. And if I recall, this one, oh yeah, this one's the one that says Balzac on it. And it's got number 338 stamped on it. So. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of ribbon cut. Um, this seems like it kind of burns faster sometimes. Uh, nice thing is this is kind of a shallow, wide bowl. So it's going to be fairly easy to load it. Get all that goodness in there. I don't want it to be too tight, but All right. Get a little press down. All right. Good solid 5 on the draw scale. Refilled the pipe lighter. Let's give it a whirl. Wow, this thing's long. up tobacco back into the bowl here. This pipe is so light. It's awesome.
Diet Coke is the uh, drink of choice to pair up with this today. I'm getting a lot of the Latakia. It honestly, it tastes. Um, It's like a mild English, but um, so. first impression reminds me of Sutliff's old professor. Like that. Like that Latakia was just sitting somewhere fermenting or something. Kind of got the old gym shoe taste to it or something. I don't know if that's a leathery taste or what that taste necessarily is, that profile. I'm honestly not a fan of that flavor. So I'm trying to look up Skiff Mixture. So I am on tobaccoreviews.com. Yes, I'm at least 18 years old. And I want to see. So it says that the Skiff Mixture is another Samuel Goweth original. Skiff is for the pipe smoker who appreciates the fuller flavor of an oriental blend. Yeah, I'm de definitely getting some sour notes in here. Blending a variety of different styles of flu-cured tobaccos gives Skiff its characteristic yellow and brown features. Its real identity comes from the addition of Turkish and a beautiful black Cypress Latakia, giving the blend its full round taste. Out of 199 reviews on uh, tobaccoreviews.com, it has a 3.4 star rating and that's out of four stars so uh, let's see here let's see uh, some people believe um, okay so one guy says he's reminded of Balkan Sobrani I haven't had Balkan Sobrani but I've had other Balkans this does not chase like a Balkan to me. Same style the Dunhill blends of old, like standard mixture or London mixture had. Balanced, not too heavy, perfect all day smoking, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> its tin aroma betrays its complexity with its leathery, slightly putrid, organic, darkly sweet character. Um, it says very few blends. Even excellent ones still have this old smell when opening a tin. Yeah, I could say that. Yeah. Um, I can't say that I am really a big fan of this, honestly. I'll, have, I'll give it a couple bowls. I'll, uh, I'll have a couple smokes out of it. I get to know the mixture a little bit. Um, but it does smoke really well. This pipe is great. It's lightweight and uh, nice, cool smoke. The bowl is cool still. And you've watched me. I've been puffing along. Um, I'm not getting any Lakeland essences out of this. I'm not getting a soapy feel in my mouth. Um... Uh, not really getting any floral notes. Uh, 
that Latakia um, really does kind of have a prominent place in this. Um, but it's got that it's got that old sour note to it as well. So. Not bad, not my favorite. Um, again, not saying that I don't like this. I need to give it more time. My first impression, I'm not a big fan of it. Which honestly kind of surprises me because I really enjoy the Gowith house and their different blends. So, hmm. anyways, um, I will try it a few more times, and I'll get back to you guys, let you know what I think. All right. I am a little more than halfway through the bowl, probably two-thirds of the way through the bowl. Bowl is still nice and cool, so that's awesome. Uh, the skiff mixture is maybe growing on me a little bit. It actually... Um, it tastes better for the second half of the bowl than the first half of the bowl. It's like some of the flavors have melded together a little bit better, and it's just not overly stinky feet. The uh, the flake or the uh, ribbon cut does burn well in this, though. Not getting hot at all. It does kind of have that old pipe tobacco flavor smell. Anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.